Less Is More lifestyle is catching on with tiny custom homes. And at The Covering Show in Orlando, Florida, I'm going to show you how to live with less space but lots of style as we tour a trio of tiny custom homes. It's part of the installation design showcase at Coverings, which brings together leading designers and tile installers to show you how tile can make a big design statement. Our tour begins at the West Michigan House, spanning a mere 30 feet, designed by Lauren Figueroa of the Georgia Pear Interiors. Let's take a look. Hi, Lauren. Hi, Karen. So good to have you. Thanks for having me. So tell me about your muse for the Good Tiny Home. Mm -hmm. Yes, yeah, so we called our tiny house the West Michigan House because both myself and Dan Welsh, the installer of the tile, are from West Michigan. Um, but we used Florham USA tile, mm -hmm. so we thought, let's try using something that looks more commercial in a residential setting and do something a little more modern, sleek, very clean. Mm -hmm. um, when you're working with a small space, you want it to be very, feel as big as it can. So we did as many surfaces in this house as we could in tile. And um, we used the same tile throughout the entire house. It's the Florham USA Basaltine line, and we just did two different colors of it. So the, the countertops, are all in the light white of the basaltine. So this here actually is our dishwasher. So we've tucked it in under the stairs and then you can see here we have our washer dryer combo. Everything here you need, extra towels, ironing, and then there's even some additional storage space down there. So let's have a seat sure. in your family room. Yes, yes. So tell me about the design elements in the family room. Sure, so um, as part of coverings, we were working with a very specific budget. Mm. So we thought, why don't we do a built-in couch instead? Oh. So we were able to tile it. We put a twin mattress down here. So all in all, we have three sleeping spaces, three beds. And then you could essentially put another mattress under here to have a trundle bed or use for storage, different things, suitcases, whatever you have. So clearly you designed the shower in the tiny home to fit two people. Indeed, we did. Yep, and we've got a six by five clearance, so even your tall people can fit in here. Well, we wanted to make the small space feel large, so we used the same thing throughout so it didn't feel cut up into different spaces. Next, we visit the retro bungalow of designer Kim Lewis. You may recognize her from ABC's Extreme Makeover Home Edition. Now her tiny home draws inspiration from Palm Springs modernism. Let's take a look. Hi, Kim. Good to Hi, see Kim. you again. It's so good to see you too. Thanks for coming. So this is fun, funky. I love the retro <laughs> bungalow. It's a happy place to be. It is. I'm glad you think so too. So you drew inspiration from Palm Springs modernism. What tile products did you use to create this look? Yeah, you know, I love, you know I love pops of color. Of course It's you like do. my signature. So I kind of wanted to use the tile as a really like natural, um, very serene backdrop. Mm -hmm. Did like more of a concrete finished tile. Mm -hmm. This is from Ricchetti Group out of Italy. So it really has that organic, concrete nature. So the kitchen has a nostalgic vibe with your choice of colors and appliances. Yes, the refrigerator obviously is orange and so many people have commented on it. It's from Big Chill. It's definitely like that vibe of the 1950s. Yeah. I love like pairing it with something super pale pink mm -hmm. to kind of offer some femininity to the space. Mm -hmm. yeah. These colors together are just this most beautiful like 1950s retro. And then you added in yet a third vibrant color with a backsplash. Which is this. This is from Atlas Concord. Mm -hmm. This tile, the aqua, is one of my favorite colors. For just personally. And so I felt like the blue broke up the orange and the pink mm -hmm. and just complemented everything together. So Kim, this is one of your graphic elements with pop of color. It is, you know, this, uh, it's called a square on square pattern and it's a nod back to that original mid-century um, era, right? So our skirting on the outside of the tiny home are cinder blocks that you would see in the 1950s. Right. Square on square pattern, so we did the same thing in the custom door. But let's close the yeah. barn door, one of your favorite signatures. I love all here, you know, I love <laughs> barn doors because you know what, it's, you don't have to take three feet into a space and, and that swing is space that could be And in utilized. a tiny home, again, clever use of space. So. Every inch matters. You know, Karen, the most popular thing that people have loved about this tiny house is this tile in the shower because it's pink. This is from Ricchetti Group out of Italy, and it's a small mosaic, very subtle gray, 
but it has a mix of matte finish and semi-gloss. Mm -hmm. And then the floor we have. The floor is Network out of uh, also Ricchetti Group, and it just is trying to mimic that, uh, that concrete flavor. So sitting here in the living room, this is a great space to appreciate some of the latest tile trends you put in the home. Yes, thank you. I always tell people with tiny homes, you really want to uh, have really nice finishes because you're up close and personal. Right. Literally, like right now, <laughs> we are against this wall. Mm -hmm. I chose this tile from Atlas Plumford because it's dimensional. Mm -hmm. I love putting texture in small spaces. And I'm honestly really tired, Karen, of the reclaimed wood thing. I do love wood. I do love vintage things. But let's look for a different alternative to give texture to space. Mm -hmm. And I love dimensional tile for that reason. Another thing I did was use large format tile because this space is only 175 square feet. So the larger the size, it actually kind of is an optical illusion. It makes the space feel bigger. Our next tiny home is by designer Nikki Vega. She's the owner of Blue Tree Homes in Orlando, Florida. Her concept is based on nature's perfect proportions, an ancient concept known as the golden section. Come on inside, let's check it out. Hi Nikki. Hi Karen, welcome to the Vitruvian. Super stylish tiny home. Thank you so much. We pulled our inspiration from nature's geometric forms and specifically the spiral of the Nautilus shell. That was a huge source of inspiration for us, how I laid my tile, um, these shapes on the wall, these lines. And then another shape that we really hold a lot of inspiration from is the star. All of these shapes in nature share that golden proportion that you mentioned, mm -hmm. um, along with us as humans. So we called it the Vitruvian because it illustrates how the human body is created at, at that proportion and how it just kind of ties all of nature together. If you notice the arc that we have, the tile installers, Jay and our install, really did a fantastic job. Crossville, I fell in love immediately with their, this is called a groove glass mosaic, and it has these triangle pieces, and it was perfect for our design concept. I paired it with a wood look porcelain tile. This is their newer uh, series called the Nest Series, mm -hmm. and a nice calm white gray to kind of not overwhelm the space. We have this huge glass tile mosaic, so I wanted to do something paler to complement it. So this garage door sponsored by Overhead uh, doors of our Central Florida has been a huge hit in the tiny house. Look at that! Oh, that's brilliant! A brilliant design element. It allows it allows the perfect opportunity to have an outdoor cooking space right here. Put your barbecue, build a little deck. Very convenient to your main kitchen. Going to, with our geometric concept, we used octagons on the floor to really kind of ground the kitchen space, and we did a really fun transition leading into the living area. The octagons kind of slowly transition and they piece together with these plank pieces. My tile installers, this was a difficult installation and they did an amazing job. Crossville has a very lightweight and thin tile option called Laminum and this is that product and we were able to use it on our countertops here. Our tile installers did this beautiful mitered edge and we were able to accomplish this waterfall detail. It worked out great and this product is ideal for tiny houses being that it's less than half of the width of normal porcelain tile. It's very light. We have a very large shower here and again we used the groove glass from Crossville. We did a reverse gradient where it goes dark to low kind of feeling like you're in a cave inside. Beautiful hands grow, fixtures, polished chrome. And very pleased. Gorgeous. Herringbone installation. Very popular. Very fun. And we even have a built-in washer-dryer section over here. This is a combo unit sponsored by Hire. They also sponsored all of our other appliances in the kitchen, showing that we have these high-end appliances geared for small spaces. This unit right here is one of my favorite pieces of this tiny house. It is a fireplace unit, bookshelf, and we also have a full wardrobe of storage in here, complete with drawers, space for office supplies, you name it. Well, let's take a look. So when you are going to climb the ladder, it needs to be secure. So we have these latches here. And then if you unhook those latches, we have all of Look this storage inside. I wanted to give an, a, a second sleeping space. So I instead of creating a couch, I did a custom daybed. Mm -hmm. And it's a custom, custom mattress size, not to exceed too much into the space. Right. I did it at 28 inches wide. To get you thinking in a big way about tile style, check out the following designers and companies.